talk to each other. Break the ice, in my view. If India is ready, Pakistan will be willing to engage. If India is not ready, we can always wait for India to make up its mind. War is not really a solution to our problems. And uh, uh, there is simply no room for a conflict uh, in a nuclear environment. So from our viewpoint, uh, I think both the countries must uh, bring diplomacy centers. Uh, and uh, rather than, you know, uh, uh, talking at each other, uh, it is important that we talk to each other. Because, you know, if you immediately start saying that uh, Pakistan is a terrorist state, it was uh, all done by Pakistan, then you do not leave any room for cooperation. But there are huge stakes involved for both Pakistan and India. We need to have serious and sustained diplomacy. No surgical strike did not take place at all. So there was usual cross loc firing. The violence anywhere uh, does not serve our purpose. The Jammu and Kashmir dispute needs to be resolved. It cannot be brushed under the carpet. It is important to avoid uh, raising false expectations uh, as happened uh, following the uh, cross LOC firing on the 29th September. Uh, we cannot afford uh, to go down that, that, that route. Uh, uh, statements are made, uh, but I think both the countries do understand the serious implications of uh, escalating the situation uh, either horizontally or vertically. I do not know if we have made any arrests. I think this was also raised by your DGMO, uh, with our DGMO this morning, if I am not wrong. But uh, so far, we do not know if, uh, at least I do not know if uh, a soldier has been arrested in Pakistan. Some optics are important, especially in a Pakistan-India context. But you cannot rest your entire engagement on optics, in my view. Uh, optics should lead to substance. Our Prime Minister came here to attend the overtaking ceremony. Uh, all these are optics. Mm -hmm. and in, Useful optics, I would say. Those optics did help to break the ice and provided us a space to move forward. But then, unfortunately, during the last two and a half years, we have not been able to engage in substantive dialogue, in substantive dialogue process. Pakistan is too big a country uh, to be isolated. Uh, so we are not worried about that. And I am sure that uh, uh, Good sense will prevail uh, and uh, Pakistan will host the 19th SAAD summit uh, uh, at the appropriate, appropriate, appropriate time. Uh, so uh, we are also positive uh, that uh, it has been postponed but uh, Pakistan will be able to host it uh, hopefully sometime next year. No, you, we need to move beyond the usual whining and whinging. Masood uh, Azhar, if there are any uh, any solid evidence against him, uh, he would have been uh, on the list by now. Uh, I think uh, China is uh, always very correct in these matters. Uh, so, I do not see any problem. If India does have any evidence, uh, irrefutable evidence that can be shared with us, shared with, with China, uh, and things can be taken forward. But uh, simply on the basis of allegations, uh, you cannot really achieve results.